In this quick tip, I want to show you some strategies every Fusion user should know of and use the next time you want to find and insert parts into your designs. First things first, let's quickly open the data panel with my keyboard shortcut of Command Alt P on my Mac or Control Alt P on my PC. Once there, you can start to understand my plight. I have tons of projects which make it difficult to sort through in my quest to find the component, a glow plug. That's why I want to bring your attention to this. The filter at the bottom of the data panel can be used to sort through these numerous projects. I think the part is contained where I spend most of my time in my one underscore underscore testing project. So let's start typing. As you'll see, with just typing the first couple letters of testing, it will filter not only the entire name, but also the description of projects should they exist. Okay, so we'll open it up and here's my folder for my turbine design and further to that, turbine components. But it doesn't jump out at me. So let's back up a level. Nope. I always seem to do that. Hit the wrong button when trying to back up a level. But before you go digging back through the folder structure, try this. This back button will take you to the last spot you were. Awesome. That'll save me a little bit of time every day. What would have been the best way to jump into a different folder in the project? Well, you can click here to jump to that main turbine folder. Or did you know that you can also click these arrows to see other folders at that level? This is similar to what you'd expect from Windows Explorer. But savvy navigation doesn't really help me find that file that much. So let's do a search. Because we're within the testing project, it will filter to just this area as denoted by the text here. But if you want to open up a larger search area, use the drop down to select all data. This time I'll search for Glow, which finds any files with that in the name. Luckily, it also provides context regarding which project they're found in. As that's the case, I'll select the one for my testing project, right mouse click on it, and insert it into the current design. At this time, I'll close the search, clear project filters if still on, then select the name of the project from the data panel to open it in Fusion Team. Another option handy for finding files, redlining, checking where files are used, and many other things. It looks like it was right under my nose earlier. Anyway, back to Fusion, I'll resume the design work. I hope this helps.